This is terribly off center, isn't it? Hey guys, it's been a long time. This is weird. This this bland background. Uh, let me just smoke this joint down and give you guys a minute to connect if you're going to connect. And I don't know if you're going to connect because it's been forever since I've been online to say hi to you guys. Um, and it's because I've been super, super busy relocating. Um, we've kept up the strain reviews on YouTube. So that's a positive thing. Um, been doing a lot of traveling. I got to visit Mississippi uh, a few months ago and meet the awesome folks with We Are the 74. Um, these guys are incredible. I'm not really sure if you know what's going on down in Mississippi, but 74% of voters said yes to medical cannabis and the Supreme Court came in and told them to go fuck themselves that they weren't going to get it. So that's the free country that you're living in. Oh, Joseph Rolski is tuning in. Rolski? Rolski? I hope I'm pronouncing that right one way or the other, Joseph. But what's going on? Here's to you. Um, so outside of the travels, where I've been, I went to Colorado a couple of times. I got to go to the 50th anniversary celebration of the Libertarian Party, um, which is incredible. Um, still doing work with the Libertarian Party Psychedelic Caucus, the only political caucus in America dedicated to the advancement of psychedelics. Um, what else is going on? Oh, so this weekend, Sacramento for the End the Wars rally, which is being hosted by the Libertarian Party Mises Caucus. Adam Kokesh is talking, so he and I are going to go there. More work for him, more relax and enjoy the rally for me. And you guys know I love a good freedom rally. Um, but good news for those of you who have subscribed to and follow Platoon420.com. You'll notice that there's been a bit of silence. Um, I'm on the page right now. Jeez. Uh, it was June 8th was the last time I published an article. Um, the page hasn't just been sitting dormant um, on top of where the article section usually sits. There is an events section um, to let you guys know that, yeah, I'm out here on the front lines and I just I don't have the means and the resources on a volunteer basis to keep this as consistent as I would like to. So when I'm traveling, it's hard. But if you want to run into me out in the road and chit chat, we can. Um, the next big weed event is going to be the weekend of my birthday. So make sure you stop by and stay high at Weedstock 2021. Go to weedstock.org for more information on that. The Platoon 420 booth might be passing out some free flower there. So make sure you stop by, say hi. Um, and this is a weekend long event thrown by Delaware Normal and Cynthia Ferguson, who is an absolute warrior, somebody that I look up to um, a whole lot. Um, and then after that, rumor on the street is that G.I. Mary Jane will be back to the East Coast um, in Maryland to hang out at a crab fest that's being thrown. Crab feast? Crab fest? Crab feast. We're going to eat some steamed crabs, Baltimore style, a free event hosted by Nature's Care and Wellness, which is a dispensary in Maryland. Um, those guys are great, uh, despite despite some some chit chat. Yeah, there was some people online not long ago threatening to call the state on NCW, and um, you know I hate that. It's uh, we got to realize that these dispensaries that are operating are operating at costs that are much higher than the average business. Like I could open up a head shop for a whole lot cheaper than these dispensaries are. And the feds aren't going to come in and raid me. So despite what anybody thinks of the individual, kudos to every dispensary out there, even those that are operating with greed. Uh, hopefully we can sway them away from that. But right now, unfortunately, it's business as usual. Um, and they're just trying to stay on top the best they can. Uh, I want to be careful how I say that because I'm not okay with the greed and corruption. Uh, but I do think that we can sway that with compassion and uh, basic human evolution. Um, Joseph Roski started it. I've started the Garden of Eden Ministry here in Southern Colorado based on the healing properties of cannabis and being at one with nature. Joseph, that is awesome. And I'm definitely going to have to visit sometime. Um, we're doing something similar to that here at the Garden of Freedom uh, at Gardenia, uh, which is located about three hours 
east of Vegas, about three hours west of Phoenix in Arizona, um, with the Homefront Battle Buddies project, where we see to provide and facilitate uh, the ability for veterans to come to the property in retreat and, um, you know, experiment with nature's healing therapies. Some some of the things that the state won't let them have access to that is literally saving their lives. So we've got a lot going on. Uh, Bobby Starr is watching. Hey, lady, hope all is well. Bobby, everything is great. Actually getting ready to take a, well, for, for those of you who haven't seen me, um, who haven't been paying attention on Mondays and Fridays, I've been co-hosting Adam versus the Man Daily Show. And today, we stopped the Daily Show. We're going to be taking a three-week break from that and coming back on a four-hour episode once a week. Uh, where I will be co-hosting, and we smoke lots of weed on this show, so make sure you tune in. Uh, we talk news headlines. We, uh, you know, we 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 check in with our audience. We've got a lot of fun new features and an amazing team. So if you haven't been watching Adam versus the Man, um, do it because now I'm there, and you have a reason. Uh, ben Weir's watching right now. Stoked for Saturday, Ben. Me too. I am super stoked about this freedom rally um saturday for my homies on the west coast is the bring home our troops rally which supposedly we already did but that's a a whole nother discussion um but i i we need to end the wars and that's what this rally is all about and the libertarian party of sacramento and the libertarian party uh mises caucus of california are hosting that. Um, Adam Kokesh is going to be there, Jeff Hewitt, um, and Angela McCardle, amongst other speakers that haven't been announced yet. So if you're on the West Coast, come by Sacramento and see us and celebrate some freedom and stand in solidarity with uh, us and other freedom lovers uh, and scream to end the wars. I mean, this is senseless. There's there's no reason that these things need to be going on. Chris, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm turning the corner of 40 here real soon. Uh, I've got a birthday coming up, and I can't believe that for more than half of my lifetime, this country has been at war. It's it's gross, and uh, things need to be done about it. People need to be weird, or need to be weird. We are weird. The weird people need to be loud, because we're not weird. We're just woke, and people don't like that. You know, if you go against the grain, if you're outside of the box. Uh, but I say to you, stay outside of the box because it is those of us who operate outside of the box that truly make changes in society. You know, one person does it alone either. It is the collective. Uh, James Ray is tuning in. James is a homie of mine in Florida, also very active with the Libertarian Party and cannabis activism in the Florida network down there. Um, he says Saturday is also John Perry Day. You dropped a link. Uh, make sure you guys check out that link and see what's going on. James, I will probably be heading to Florida soon. Rumor has it that this beautiful little boy who um, might have come out of my loins about 12 years ago uh, moved down there with his father soon. So um, I think I'm going to be heading to Florida. And if I am there, James, I'm definitely going to stop by and say hi to you if I don't see you. Before then, I will see you on convention round this year in 22, not 22, 24. I'm not going to keep my feet still. Um, But great news. So what's going on? Bring Home the Troops rally this weekend. Weed stock the following. Nature's Care and Wellness free, did I mention, crab feast in Maryland. I'll have more information up on that at platoon420.com. And then when all the travels settle down, you're going to be seeing a whole lot more articles from me because while I've been stagnant for the last two months and I haven't been stagnant, period, I've been stagnant in the website alone because I've been working on other websites. Um, but the psilocybin arrests have really ramped up. It hurts my heart. I used to, for well over a year, wake up every morning, sip on my coffee, smoke on my bowl, and... Uh, rewrite these news articles about what the mainstream media call arrests and we call kidnappings because you're sending men with guns after peaceful citizens who are sitting in their living room smoking weed and, oh, damn, that's beat, smoking weed and reading news articles. Um, that's a kidnapping. That's a violent home invasion. Uh, these people are not criminals. Um, they are the victims of the drug war and Platoon 420 stands on their side. By writing these victims or writing these articles from the perspective of the victims, I've been real slow on that. 
For those of you who haven't seen it, go to platoon420.com. You can see some stories. I will be um, catching up, trying to reach out to some of these victims and really ramping back up on the articles. But not every day. I can't, I can't do it every day. It really hurts my heart to read about all this stuff. Um, but what I do want to do is be as consistent as I can. So if you have a passion like me and you're able to dedicate 20 minutes a week to writing an article from the perspective of the victims and you want to help out and be a contributor and a journalist for platoon420.com, hit me up at info at platoon420.com. I will send you your very own press pass with a photo in case there's any in-person events that you need to go to. Uh, to represent the platoon and uh, keep your cameras rolling for the safety of the victims of the drug war. Um, and you'll have access to blogging privileges and publishing privileges on the website. Um, so please, if anybody has the time and the passion to lend their talents to that, this is a 100% volunteer effort. If we don't present these arrests the way they are as kidnappings, if we let the mainstream media get away with criminalizing the victims of the drug war, it's going to be that much harder to end the drug war. So I need some people on board with me and it doesn't take much of your time. Hit me up here or on email. Uh, my phone number is published on the website too. I am so easy to get a hold of. Just reach out. Just reach out. And uh, here's to you. I'm smoking on Orange Aid from SWC Arizona, my new favorite dispensary my new favorite dispensary in arizona and this orange aids delicious it tastes like tangy and a grapefruit strain had a baby and i'm pretty sure that's kind of what happened so it's delicious so make sure you go to youtube subscribe i'm going to be a lot more active on there Maybe, hopefully, we keep getting banned on YouTube with Adam versus the man versus, for medical misinformation. <laughs> and the bans always happen when we have an important guest on, most recently, Karen Ann Harlow's. Before that, Mike Adams from Natural News. Before that, it was Dr. Mary Brewer. Two episodes, and one of them was like two years old, and we got flagged. So YouTube's a little bit iffy. Um, but make sure to subscribe. I'm almost to 420 subscribers. Oh, which one of you is it going to be? I'm just saying. Um, and go register at platoon420.com. Take the pledge. Stand tall in the face of tyranny for the best interests of yourself and your community. Denounce the archaic drug laws that make victims of the people they were written to protect. And do not support any legislation that regulates what a person puts in their body, which stretches out so far beyond cannabis. But I'm not going to go there right now. Um, but... Register at platoon420.com, and pretty soon here, within the next three to four weeks, once my travels die down, um, we're going to get active again. So look forward to that. Look forward to that. Um, any last thoughts? Scott Morningstar is watching. I've got emoji, kissy face, puff, puff, puff. We all know what that means. <laughs> it's a little harsh. <coughs> a little harsh. I got to tell you, Arizona weed is definitely, definitely not Colorado weed. Whew. All right, you guys. As always, the commander in key for reminding you to pass joints, not judgments. We are all in this together. I will see you, Sacramento, this weekend. Delaware, I will see you the weekend of September 16th. And Maryland, I will see you guys. The 26th of September without a calendar in front of me. Because we're going to eat some crabs. I miss some Maryland-style blue crabs. So I can't wait for this crab feast. Make sure you guys come out. Check out platoon420.com for all the details. We'll see you then.